Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Force here, and today we will be taking a quick look at cute things dying violently. Oh gosh, that sounds, that sounds terrible. Let's see what you guys think about this. This game is a, I don't know exactly how to describe it. Think Angry Birds plus lots of death and blood and gore. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Here we are, cute things dying violently. Uh, this was developed by Apathy Works, which uh, they are based in Washington, D.C. Originally an Xbox Live indie title, it is now available on the PC uh, via Desora. That's actually uh, the platform that you can download it from. And we're just going to start off by hopping straight into the single player. Uh, I've completed all the way through Chapter 1 and most of Chapter 2. I'm going to skip Chapter 1, but we're going to just start off taking a look at Chapter 2, where things start to actually get a little more uh, complex and difficult. So, here we are. My friends, cute things dying violently. Uh, what you do is you've got this little this little thing here. I don't know what even to call it. Little mechanism. And you can drag and flick these guys. And that's it. I cannot move this. I can only move this left and right. I cannot move it up and down at any point. And I'm actually confined even to this area. Like I can't even move to the right side of these buzz saws. And the goal is drag these things and flick them. And try not to have them die. Or try to have them die, depending on how terrible of a person you are. Uh, the goal of the game is to try to have them live, because uh, the more that live, the more points you get, and the further you progress in the game. And so here's a real bait. Oh, <laughs> violent death. Violent death is to be expected, but at least I beat the level onto Chapter 2, Part 2. And you're going to notice these little bubbles that move up and down. They're going to give you hints as to what to do. I've already progressed through this part, so I already know what to do. Um, besides flicking these little cute things, they're actually kind of creepy, to be honest with you. This should be called creepy things dying violently. I can also flick these springs. So I'm going to put that spring up there. I'm going to flick this one as well. And uh, we're going to actually try to get that to... There you go. So that's what I'm looking for there. Now I gotta basically try to make it up. You can see those green blocks surrounding the uh, elevator there. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, excuse me for that cough. Alright, so I'm gonna try to... Uh... Oh boy, that was... That was violent. You see, these guys say little things. It's kind of funny. But also kind of creepy. Yeah, I just barely made that one, actually. And there we go. All right, got away with five of them living. Only one of them died there? Wow. Rock on. All right, next level here. So as you can see, uh, you know, like I said earlier, very reminiscent of an Angry Birds. Oh, <laughs> we have to sacrifice for the greater good. It's just the way it is. He makes it. And he should make. Oh, sorry about that. Don't yell at me. You know, I'm I'm doing this for you guys. This is for your best interest. This is in your best interest. The things that I am doing. Okay. All right. Let's try to make him go up there. Very simplistic game in the early stages. Uh, from what I've seen as I've progressed, things will get more difficult, and uh, we're gonna just continue playing this so that you guys can see some of these uh, these interesting challenges that are come up, coming up here. Um, so flat out, I will say that if you don't like Angry Birds, you probably won't like this because it's it's about, you know, trajectory and trying to find the proper, what am I doing here? Oh, get the spring. Oh, this guy's in, oh boy. <laughs> a giant death saws down there. Almost just took him out. Oh, I missed, dropped the ball there. Let's try that again, shall we? So again, I can't move uh, these things up and down at all can only move left and right. I can actually fling this spring too, but I'm, I'm, I don't want to mess this up again, so we're just going to try to make it through this level without dying another time. There you go, you lived. And then I'll fling that up there just for the heck of it. That didn't really do anything at all, but I can do it. Coming up next, the boost. The boost is loose. Oh, what do I need to do here? Oh, okay, I see, I see. All right, ready guys? Here we go up here. Oh, missed it. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. All right, so let's uh, let's try to do that right again. There. Oh, that's a little premature there. Have you heard that before? Probably. 
Yeah, at least I saved that one. That's all that matters. I got one through. I'm fine with it. Imagine if he squished. <laughs> that would be hilarious. So you avoid saws and stuff like that. Multitasking. Here you go. All right. So now I got to dra drag this one and try to keep them. Okay. There's another saw over there. So, okay. Still not, um, still not terribly difficult though. And um, I think I can just, I don't think I'm going to have to launch this one. I think I can just leave it where it be and still accomplish my goal here, which is to get these lovely creatures inside of an elevator. And why are they where they are? And why are these elevators taking them up to the sky? Nobody knows. Do we really need a logical answer for why we do the things we do in some of these games? Perfect. All critters have been saved. A huge com... What do, all right, what are we doing here? Okay, I see. All right, so we got the fans there. I gotta get to the elevator and avoid the saws. And this is all about the ricochet action. Yep, that didn't go so well. Um. Okay, two down, three to go. Okay. Yeah, that's going well here. Yep. <laughs> Last one. There you go. That'll suffice. <laughs> That'll do. Ga cone. Cone with the wind. Cone with the wind. Oh, where are you guys? Okay, these guys are walking to their death. You guys are, might be cute, but you're not very smart. Isn't that how it always goes, though? Get back. Oh, we're going against the tide here. I'm trying to okay, all right. So I just gotta they they, they slow a, they slow up a little bit here when I when I pull them all the way back. It seems. I mean, I think I've got this one figured out here. I'm just gonna continue to do this one at a time here. There we go. All right, so now this guy's next. What are you doing? Do you want to die? Is that your goal? Wow, that was much easier. I didn't realize I could fling them that far against the fans. There you go. I hate being restricted. Um, So one of my major complaints here is the... All right, so we've got fan trajectories. And let's launch this here. Uh, one of my major complaints with this game is that the music's kind of bad. Uh, and that seems like that that seems like a weird complaint, I'm sure. But in a game like this, uh, if you're going to have music, it should be, I don't know, it should be good. And this is not, this, this really is pretty, pretty bad music. Again, it seems like an odd complaint, but, um... It just... What, a game like this, you're gonna be playing for an extended period of time, right? So I think that there, if there is going to be any background music, it, it should be good. And, uh, and that's a very, very, very subjective statement. Oh, here's the hate robot! What? <laughs> that's the hate robot, I gotta kill him. All right, so we got bombs all around. I trigger them. You can notice how everything's color coordinated. There we go. Got to boot him up to that one. I got to trigger those bombs down. Here. To launch him here. There you go. Great. All right. Well, that worked out wonderfully. He is the hate robot. Yes, and he's sort of like a mini boss, but he's uh, he's he's repeating. He will come back numerous times. And you just have to defeat the hate robot. Okay, what the heck is this? Oh boy. Okay, I see. This is simple enough. So I just gotta drag this. And, uh... Yeah, I almost wish there was no music. Uh, look at the op- Oh, <laughs> come on! Are you serious? <clears throat> I think I had that there. I call foul. Um, now that I think of it, 
the, this game's obvious comparison to Angry Birds doesn't have music. It's got like a, it's got like background ambient noise, depending on the location and stuff. But there's no music, and maybe that's maybe that's a mistake here that he's making. The developer of this game, I don't know. And now I gotta make it across. I am uh, a little concerned though because I really thought that I had the last one in the bag, but apparently I misstepped on that last thing. So. Show I who I was really worried that he was gonna fall through blue there, but he made it through the elevator glorious day Okay, what are these guys doing here, so I just got to fling them up and try to get them in the elevator. I see um, Maybe do like I, I actually I can't and this is this is such a bummer I can't um, I can't go up and down again like I mentioned before so I can't, like, launch him up to... The, my immediate thought for some reason was, hey, launch him up to the top level and then just launch him down, but I can't do that. I, I kind of don't like that at all, to be honest. Um, am I thinking ricochet action here, or should I be going with just straight shot up like this? Yeah, that's, that's a mistake. So ricochet action is what it's going to have to be. So that's the wrong angle. Hey, that should do it. Oh, come on, are you kidding? Come on. Whatever, I got one in. I don't care. <laughs> there is a significance behind unlocking... Behind getting more than one through, though, because you'll have uh, further levels are capped by the number of creatures you've saved. And so if you don't have a certain score, you can't progress. All right, so let's see here. Let me think about this. So my goal now is to get that purple thing going. Um, because I need to get that purple thing activated to ricochet the left side into the elevator. Oh, that's mistake number one. And he's dead. And this guy's dead. There you go. And then it's going to be a ricochet off of blue. <laughs> These poor guys are not safe in my hands. And we hit R for retry. It's too bad for you. Oh, come on. <laughs> Did you hear him? He said, sweet Jesus. Don't blame him. All right, there you go. There you go. And then now for the final ricochet. Yeah, nope. Retry. I'm gonna get it, I swear. Wow. Okay. All right. I'm liking my odds this time. Keep doing that wrong. Come on, dude. This is ridiculous. What? How is that still hitting? I am angling that. Well then, this was uh, <clears throat> not so hot. Oh god, jeez, yeah, the gore, the violence. I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure how I like this game. And no, it's not just because I forced. Were you just saying that because you just sucked it up in the last level? I just don't. I even like Angry Birds. I I do. I, I'll admit. I'll, I'll cop to that. I'll I'll admit that. I actually enjoy Angry Birds, but um, this isn't quite doing it for me. And violence should be an obvious sell, right? Because I'm an uneducated gamer. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not I'm not trying to rip on him for that. That's perfectly fine. But um, I just don't. Maybe it really is just the music. God. <laughs> 
Maybe it is the music. Uh, the controls are kind of weird too. So let me explain this to you because I haven't yet for some reason. So you hold, you mouse over these guys and you hold down right mouse button to grasp onto them. And then you click left mouse button and then pull and drag. And this is how I'm getting my angle and all of that. Um, and even that feels a little uncomfortable. Ooh, I've killed a hundred lifetime critters. whoop de doo Wish I cared. No! Alright, at least their, their halves should be triggering these saws here. Eh. Alright, I'm gonna give this one last shot here. The last hurrah. I mean, those are sacrificial lambs there. I didn't even think that there's anything that I could do to save those guys. I love you very much. I hate you. I hate- oh. Well, that's, that, that was a quick uh, turn. turn. Okay, last try, retry, retry, hit R. All right, last try, this is it, this is the final one. I swear, even though the last one I said was the final one. That is ridiculous. That that, that, would, that would go that way. That this would go so horribly for me. That these things would die such a violent death. And I think this is impossible. I was just kidding about the last one that I was saying was the last one. This was actually the last one. I got you. I don't feel for these characters. I think they're actually kind of weird, and I'm just gonna launch you right into this. Forget this. That is that. I am out of it. All right, guys, this is Cute Things Dying Violently. My uh, personal opinion is that, eh, it's all right. It's really cheap. Uh, $3? Yeah, three dollars right now is what it's available for. Two ninety nine to be exact in USD. Euro is two forty nine. What's that? Canada two ninety nine as well. And yeah, developed by Apathy Works, which is uh, based in Washington D.C. Initially released for the Xbox back in twenty eleven, actually in August of twenty eleven, and is now finally available over a year later. Less than a year it's July uh, less than a year later it's available for the PC again you can download it via Desora if this is something that you like based on what you've seen you can follow the link in the video description below to check out the game thank you very much for watching this quick look of cute things dying violently once again this has been force if you like what you see here please subscribe keep watching and keep owning